Hi everybody, it is uh, Tuesday the 19th of July. Um, for some reason the lighting in here, everybody, some people were writing in yesterday saying, what happened to your left eye? Um, nothing, if I look in a mirror, I, I still look as weird as I do. Um, nothing's weird, so it's gotta be the lighting in this room, the shadows and all that stuff. Um, but nothing's wrong, Everything, everything's fine, um, so I'm not concerned about it. I'm, I'm seeing as fine as I can see with my crappy eyesight. It's just easier for me not to wear my glasses when I'm up close like this because it's real hard to check out everything. Um, this is our second day off here in Indianapolis. It's, it's crazy in our hotel. I mean, we're staying here. Chicago's staying in the hotel. Um, uh, God, who else, who else is here? Um, Brian Wilson's band, Brian and his band are here. Uh, Nora Jones and her entourage are in this hotel. I've, I only saw a couple of the guys from Brian's group. I haven't seen any of the guys from Chicago uh, where I've worked with, uh, with Walfredo, the drummer, and I've worked with Ramon, the percussionist. I know the guys from Chicago. I just haven't um, seen them yet. Um, still laying pretty low here. Um, I'm going to check out Nora's situation later on because Michelle Peckroll um, is, I guess, her production manager. And Michelle was one of the uh, production managers um, on Phil Collins's tour. So we haven't seen each other since uh, we finished the Not Dead Yet tour. And she was had written to me that she was going to be coming to our show up, I think, in Vermont on Lyle's tour, uh, but she just called me this morning and said, we're in the same hotel, and they're they're playing just down the street tonight, and we have a night off, but I said, you know, I'd love to come see it, and then I just suddenly, after hanging up, realized I'm not going to go sit in an audience. Um, too much at stake right now still with uh, COVID, um, so I'm going to try to get, I'm going to get together with her, and maybe I can go see the show, but just stand in the wings and watch it. Um, rather than in an audience. I mean, it's it's great that people are coming to the shows and everything, but um, we have too much at stake being on tour like this, and we've already been through a whole bunch of COVID out here on this tour, and uh, it's not worth taking a chance jeopardizing the tour um, by getting sick at, at another show. No, we are all trying to act as responsible as we can. Some of the guys are spending the uh, uh, today's uh, yesterday and today out there on golf courses. Um, Russ loves to play. Um, Luke Bulla loves to play. Um, there's a, a bunch of them and they have clubs out here and everything. So they've been doing that, which is great because they're out on the golf course. So there's plenty of open air and they're not around anybody but themselves. Um, and I've seen some of the other guys out walking around uh, the area, but we're, we're laying as low as we can. I have a very dear old friend Jeff Gerson who lives in town here and I wish I could see him but they just don't want us to take any chances and I'm kind of a little weary of when I post this and I say stuff like this I get the uh, the, the, the certain amount of people that write in the comment section on the video that I'm spreading lies again and I have no idea what I'm talking about and this is you know distancing and masking doesn't do any good and all that and you know okay whatever uh, explain, you know, tell that to the people that have died that I know, you know, and the people that are long haul that are still suffering after two years that this is all nonsense. Um, but I'm not going to get into that now, but I just uh, I'd be, look forward to saying hi to Michelle. She's, she's absolutely wonderful and really took care of us on Phil's tour. So it'd be really great to say hi to her and, and see if there's a way to see uh, Nora's show without um, sitting in the house. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, musically, I'm going to go back and visit somebody. I did a, a, a video about him many, many videos ago, and he's really a wonderful artist, wonderful writer, wonderful singer. And I thought I would just share a few more pieces of his music because a lot of people, you know, they're coming in and joining the channel at this point. And to go back and dig through over a thousand videos, um, it's arduous to say the least. Um, so, you know, they may be hearing for the first time now, and then maybe if some, if they're interested, they'll go back when they get time and check out an earlier one that maybe has more details about certain things or different stories. Um, but 
Uh, this artist is Skip Ewing, and we did an album called The Will. I've got my copious little notes here. We did an album called The Will to Live back in 1989. It was produced by Jimmy Bowen, who I most of the work I did in Nashville for like the decade that I was working there was with uh, Jimmy Bowen, and um, and then it went on to to several other. Um, producers too, but Jimmy was the, the main reason that I ended up uh, working in Nashville because um, I had worked with him so many times back when he was uh, lived in Los Angeles. Then when he moved to Nashville, he contacted me and said, would you like to come to Nashville and work? And I, you know, I didn't move there, but I was flying there on a regular basis and probably did a couple of hundred albums with him in Nashville. Uh, it was engineered by Ron Treat and mastered by Glenn Meadows, and the production uh, coordinator for the album was the wonderful Jesse Noble, who did almost everything that, that Jimmy Bowen did, and um, uh, ended up working with a lot of different people, but she's really quite an exceptional. Now, the band on this album is, is pretty amazing. It's myself on bass, Rick Murata on drums, Billy Joe Walker Jr. and Reggie Young on guitar, Jerry Douglas on dobro, Hoot Hester on mandolin, Mike Fisher on, per, uh, on percussion, Matt Rawlings on keyboards, and Mike Lawler and Steve Nathan on synth. Um, so it doesn't bands don't get much better than that? It's pretty pretty great. So let me go ahead now and uh, play you a couple of songs from this. Uh, here's one called "It's You Again." Uh, not E W, it's Y O U, and it's Skip Ewing. It's you again. Here we go. In the middle of my day, if something takes my thoughts away. Almost always safe to say that it's you again. You always leave me wanting more, so my heart keeps listening for that certain little knock upon my door when it's you again. Mike Geiger, Woody Mullis, and Skip Ewing. 
Um, here's one called The Door. And this is written by Red Lane and Skip Ewing. Okay, need the downbeat. Look at her, you'd never think That in her heart she ever heard that much Though I seldom see it in her eyes Though I never feel it in her touch I know that somewhere there's a memory Place inside that love has scarred before But I don't ever ask her anything about it She never ever mentions the door I've walked with her through every room Where fear had never let her go By one we opened up the curtains Let love in and made it feel at home But there's one last room At the end of the hallway She's never opened up to me before and Every now and then I pause there for a moment Cast a painful shadow on the door And sometimes late at night She wakes me when she trembles And I count her fading footsteps on the floor And before I leave the bedroom Walk down that old hallway I know I'll see her right under Beautiful ballads. Um, here's here's another ballad. This is um, uh, uh, "Please Don't Leave Me Now." It's called, and it's Skip Ewing and Don Sampson composed this. Here we go. arms that first September and it steered them both to finally go that far but all night long they talked about forever and they couldn't hide the feelings in their hearts he said I don't want to spend 
let alone But it's late And I really should get home And she said Please, please don't leave me now Oh please, please don't leave me now Wedding bells still ringing in his memory A baby cried with her first breath of life And he stood beside the bed with his new family And brushed away a pain drop from her eyes she said, don't worry, hon, I'm just a little weak He said, close your eyes and try to get some sleep and She said, please, please don't leave me now Oh, please, please don't leave me now God, you look so proud Please, please don't leave me now That night she lay burning with a fever He held her hand and never gave up hope he said, God, I'm sure you know how much I need her Then he whispered just before her fever broke Please, please don't leave me now Oh, please, please don't leave me now For those curious, um, when I was doing most of my dates back in Nashville, I would take Frankenstein with me and did all these tracks with uh, Frankenstein as my bass. Um, I, so that's it. You know, Skip's really great. I haven't seen Skip in many, many years, um, but I, you know, looking on here, uh, it looks like he's still, you know, active, and uh, I, I hope everything's okay with him. You know, that's the hard part is you finish projects many times and you lose touch with the artists that you've worked with. Um, but um, I just always kind of cherish the projects that I've done with them. And most of the time, uh, very few projects have left me ever with a kind of a sour taste in my mouth. I pretty much enjoy all of them. I like the art, most of the artists I've worked with and certainly the bands are amazing um, that I've had the privilege to play with. So. Um, so that's it. I'm going to see what I can sort out for today. Tomorrow is our gig here in Indianapolis. And uh, when we get to the venue, I will wait for them to finish airing out the system. And then I will um, take us on a tour. I'm, I'm, a lot of these places, I think somebody said this is a pretty new one. I may not have been here before, but a lot of these, you know, you kind of don't remember. And then as soon as you drive up, you go, oh, yeah, I remember this gig. 
kind of thing. So I'll see, you know, if, if I've been here before, I'll figure that out tomorrow. Um, but um, I'm really enjoying the walkthroughs. I just have to make sure there's no music playing. And a couple of people have said, you know, talk to the uh, sound guy and maybe get rid of the Warner stuff. The, the sound guy has a critical job to do at every venue of dialing in the system acoustically for the room and they get used to very specific songs that they know the frequencies and everything on and uh you know so when they're playing you know henley or they're or they're playing peter gabriel or kate bush or something up there um or steely dan uh, it's because they know this stuff and it really helps them dial it in so there's no way i'm gonna encroach on them for for my video saying can you not do that stuff it's you know i their job's far more critical so i'll wait them out and when they're done with it uh then i'll go ahead and make my video and not have the hassle of uh getting blocked because of an algorithm that's uh in place um so other than that i wish everybody a wonderful day um it's kind of a trip of the last time i remember this many bands in a hotel we were in um, the Royal Garden Hotel in uh, L in London with Phil Collins, and there was a fire drill. There was apparently a fire in the kitchen, but they evacuated the hotel. And we went outside, and we're outside with Phil and the band are outside. Elton John's band is all outside. Cheap Trick is outside. It's funny, so it, it turns into like old home week. Everybody's hanging out and talking and stuff and it suddenly this emergency doesn't feel quite such an emergency it's more of an opportunity just to see some people that you didn't even know were in the hotel uh, and saying hi so that's pretty cool um okay so i'm gonna get running and i will uh, see you all tomorrow either outside wandering around or some more music or whatever or both we'll see we'll see what happens talk to you later Bye bye